This TacTube video will demonstrate and walk through the features of the Info Center found on the Multi Pro 1750 and Multi Pro Workman sprayers. Turning the ignition switch on boots up the Info Center. From here, you can see battery voltage and the hours on the unit. Once the booting is complete, the main screen will be displayed. The main screen shows all your vital information. You can see your speed, the application rate, and the volume of fluid left in the tank. In addition to displaying machine vitals, the Info Center is used for a number of other features. Now let's check, take a look at some of those. We're going to start by looking at where we enter in tank volume. I'm going to press the right button once to bring up the menu bar. I'm going to press the right button again. And here you can see in this screen my application rate is displayed but without my speed. But my tank volume is also located in the upper right hand corner. So let's see how we change that. I'm going to press the right key twice and then press the left key once and now I can enter in the tank volume. So when I fill my tank with water before I spray I can change this value to reflect whatever is in my tank. If I hold down the button, I can increase the value by increments of 10. Once I've reached the desired volume, I hit the Save key, and then I can return back to the home screen, and now my new tank volume is displayed. Next from the home screen, let's press the left button. By pressing the left button once brings up my sub areas. This is a total running count of my total acreage in gallon sprayed. If I press the left button again, I can bring up individual sub areas. I have the option of utilizing 20 different sub areas and it will count acreage and gallons used in those individual sub areas. By pressing the middle button, you can change to all the different sub areas. Again, there's a total of 20 available for use. Next, let's talk about the other icons and information that will be displayed on the home screen. First, we'll discuss boom position. If I click the master boom on, you'll notice on the top of the info center, my little boom icons appear. This indicates that they're off. Once I start clicking on individual sections, notice the icons change, indicating those sections are spraying. Next, let's talk about the parking brake icon. If I pull the parking brake, the icon appears on the screen. Next, let's talk about the hill assist feature. This is displayed when the machine is stationary and the clutch and brake pedal are pressed. The Info Center will also give you advisories. If I try to start the engine with my foot on the gas pedal, it will display an advisory. The same goes for other machine functions. For example, if I try to engage the throttle lock without the spray pump engaged, I receive this message. Next, let's turn our master boom switch off and access our main menus. We can do this by pressing the center button twice. Inside on the main menus are several options, calibration, settings, service, and diagnostics. Let's see what the service menu displays. Here you can retrieve fault codes and hours. By pressing the right button, I can refresh the fault log. This machine has no faults, but this is where they would be displayed. The hours portion records different parameters of the machine. Going back to the main menu, I can jump into the settings menu. At the top of the settings menu is the low tank volume alert. When this is set, the red indicator lamp will illuminate at the top of the info center when the low tank volume indicated is reached. You can also change the units of measurement. US is for gallons per acre, TURF is for gallons per thousand square feet, and SI is for metric units or liters per hectare. The Info Center also supports a number of different languages. I'll scroll through these, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to stick with English. Also, in the settings menu are other things you'd expect to see, like backlight and contrast. Along with that, you can turn the Hill Assist feature on or off, and at the bottom of this list is protected menus. Right now, our protected menus are locked. You can see this as I scroll through the bottom of the list and back to the top. Let's see what happens when I unlock protected menus. I'll enter in the stock password of 1234, and this can be set to anyone's desired password. And then I'll accept it by pressing the check mark. Now let's go back to the service menu. 
Now that the protected menus are unlocked, we can view a couple more features. Notice the flow rate can be monitored. This will display what the flow meter registers as fluid is passing by it. You can also see the multiplier values for the flow meter calibration and speed calibration. However, these numbers cannot be directly adjusted and thus are not that important. And if you're curious about calibrating the flow meter and speed sensor in the new MultiPro sprayers, check out our other video titled MultiPro 1750 Calibration. Now let's go back to the settings menu. If I scroll down, you can see that my boom widths are now displayed. If you're using an aftermarket boom, this is where you would adjust it. Otherwise, it comes pre-programmed for the Toro booms. By pressing the increase or decrease button, I can set the boom width to whatever I desire. To lock these menus back up, simply turn the ignition key off. Now I'll turn our ignition switch back on. Once the info center boots up, I'm going to access our main menus, jump back into my settings menu, and quickly verify that the protected options are not visible. Looks like ours are hidden, so everything's locked up. Let's jump into the diagnostic menu. The diagnostic menu can be used to verify what the controller is seeing for different machine functions. If I select pumps, I have the option of viewing the inputs, the qualifiers, and the outputs associated with turning on the pump. If I access the inputs, I can see the pump switch is an input to turn the pump on. I can quickly test if this leg of the circuit is working by switching my pump switch on and I should receive a checkbox. This means my controller has recognized the switch is active. These other pumps are related to tank rinse pump and for the purpose of this video I'm not going to be demonstrating these functions. If I go back a menu and check out the qualifiers, I can see here my qualifiers to turn the pump on are the throttle home switch, a timer, which is related to the rinse pump, which won't be satisfied in this demonstration. And on the 1750, the sprayer pump will not engage unless the throttle is at low idle. Otherwise, this could damage the pump or drive valve. Now let's go back a screen and check the outputs. If the controller sees the proper inputs and qualifiers for a given function, it should send a corresponding output. In this case, the output is engaging the pump clutch. And if the machine is being operated in a way that does not satisfy the controller, the info center will let you know. Now if I go back into the diagnostic menu, I can show other machine functions. And those same principles hold true. For example, such as the throttle lock, the pump needs to be engaged to engage the throttle lock. Here my pump is off and I will receive an advisory message. Finally, if I get back into the menus, if I go to the about menu, this will show machine vitals like model, serial number, and software revision in the controller. Notice this shows both revisions of software for the tech controller and the info center, along with displaying the CAN bus status. This concludes our demonstration of the info center features found on the new MultiPro Workman and 1750 sprayers.